All right, here she is. You're brave. How is it? What are you doing, man? Yo! -ho -ho. What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. Come on, Fred. Oh, man, a lot of you have been concerned about Fred, and let me tell you what, he is doing better and better literally every day. We've had him at home for almost a week and a half now, almost to that two-week mark, I think. So, he is just really putting on a little bit of meat. You can still barely see his ribs here. They are fading away. Still pretty skinny out back, but he is definitely looking a lot better. His appetites went way up. And he's actually eating normal. Basically a cup in the morning and about a half a cup at night. He's eating better in the mornings for sure. Look at him. He doesn't leave my heels, I'm telling you. And look what... Oh, he loves it. Come here. Come here, sit. Fred, sit. 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 We've been working. We have been working on it. Sit. There we go. He just needs a stern voice sometimes. Now, I've been trying to get him to stay with fetching, but we're not there yet. He just, look at him, he's so antsy. Ready? Fred, here, sit. Good boy, see it? He gets so rambunctious, you gotta use a stern voice with him sometime. Sit. Good boy. Get the ball. Good boy, here, here. Oh yeah, he's getting there. Kind of lost it in the grass there. Here, let me have it. Good boy. He's really good about uh, bringing it right back and dropping it. You don't have to try to tug a war it out of his mouth, you know? Basically what I'm learning is I have to be stern with him when I have to. Not all the time. Pretty stern with him. We need to instill that in Fred. But he's doing great uh, fetching, uh, returning with the ball, and dropping the ball. One thing, I don't like is having a tug of ward out of his, out of out of dog's mouth, and I've never had to do that once with Fred. Good boy, you're a good boy. But today, what you all are here for is the solo starling hunt. I'm not gonna call it a challenge. I don't like I don't like calling videos challenges that aren't really challenging, you know. So I don't know, maybe it will be harder than I think, but we're gonna be at a new spot today, a new farm, a new little cattle farm. It's just down the road from me. I actually did, you guys will recognize it, I actually did a crow hunt there, and I did that epic solo duck hunt there as well. Feels like I haven't done a solo anything forever. Now that hunting season's been over, crow season's been over, and you know how pigeons are. Pigeons are kind of far and few between. The hunts are just far and few between. It's going to be nice getting out there solo. I know you guys have missed the solo hunts. Let's, uh, let's get out there. Woo! In the truck now, I had to go put on that Olive Ducks t-shirt because I got to somewhat be camouflaged. By the way, if you guys want to pick up this Ducks t-shirt or hat or any other Ducks merch, I will link it all down in the description below. So, a lot of you guys know that I usually starling hunt the dairy farm. It's like the go-to spot, you know. We've been getting a ton of rain, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. And one thing I've been noticing a ton with all this rain is that the starlings are hitting bare fields. Just muddy, 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 muddy fields, flooded fields. Looks like they're picking out grubs and worms. So, so I have a farmer buddy that always lets me hunt right down the road from me, and they have just been attacking his property. Look at this, starting to come over the road here. Holy smokes, look at this field here. I have never seen water in this field. If this thing keeps water in it come teal season, this thing it will be loaded with teal. I mean, we have more water right now than I've seen in a very, very long time, and what it's doing is just bringing these starlings out, bringing out, bringing them out off the farms, off of their concentrated areas that they like to stay. It's getting them out in these fields and they're finding a lot of food right now. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at the ducks. We got some stud, those are two stud spoons right there. Oh man, got some till in there. But just two stud spoonies right there. That's as far as my camera will zoom, unfortunately. I wish I could zoom in a lot farther. There are a ton of starlings and ducks right here. This is where we're gonna be hunting today. And look at all the ducks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop again, look at this. Check out all these ducks. 
Check out all the ducks. Holy smokes. Oof. Man, look at all these teal buzzing around. Oh, man. Look at all of them. Oh, man, check this out. Don't try to cross high water, y'all. Don't do it. This happens right here. Oh, man. Whew, that's where the road ends for me. I ain't gonna be looking like that. Uh-uh. Woof. Nope. We are gonna turn, a, turn our booties around right now. Like I said, we are flooding. I mean, we've had flood warnings non-stop. Especially when it looks like that. That's way too deep to cross in a minivan, man. What the? What are you trying? Why are you trying to get buck wild in a minivan? So I'm going to be rocking the GoPro, going to be shooting, running, and gunning on these Starlings. So I'm going to put away the big camera. Uh, goal number two, other than shooting the Starlings today, is that I want to try to, is I want to try to sneak my way up to where those ducks were. And I want to film those Drake Spoonies. They're beautiful. I've never been able to film Drake Spoonies here on the channel. So let's see if we can do that. But I am rocking the old Franke today. Check her out. Got the tube on her. And a lot of y'all been asking what I've been liking to shoot on these Starling videos. Right here, baby. These Federal Premium Hybrids are legit. High brass, ounce and an eighth, two and three quarters, seven and a half shot. Bangers. All right, guys. I got you on the head mount here. Before we get shooting here, I've been thinking about buying a GoPro Hero 7. If you guys have any advice or if you guys have bought a GoPro Hero 7, if you think it'd be worth having on my head, you know, it has that video stabilization, drop a comment down below and let me know. This is all flooded. This is where I did that solo duck hunt. Man, that was an epic hunt. If you guys haven't watched that video, you need to go watch that video. This calf is snoring. Is he snoring? Uh-oh. He don't look good. Uh-oh. We might have a situation here. I don't think he's doing good. This is my buddy's cows. Hey buddy. No, he's not doing good. Hey buddy. And he's definitely not sleeping. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Alright, I'm gonna have to call the farmer on him. He is not looking good. Oh, there he goes. He's making a weird noise. You alright, dude? Are you alright? Man. He's up and walking. I thought he was snoring. If he, if he was snoring, tell me, but man, you just never know, you know? He could he could just lay over and die right there. I'm not a I'm not a cow farmer. I don't know. Maybe he's just so young, he's just having weird dreams. I don't know. He's pretty young. Probably just woke him up out of his slumber. Sorry, bud. I'm sorry, bud. Oh look, he's running. That dude's feeling just fine. Let's see if I can sneak up on these ducks. Obviously, I'm not gonna shoot them just to film them. There's a bunch of them. Look at all these ducks. There are a ton, mostly teal. Goodness. Remember the beginning of the video when I said, we're not gonna call this a challenge because it shouldn't be a challenge? Yeah, well, it's a challenge, indefinitely. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering, why is he so obsessed with ducks? Well, you obviously haven't been here very long, which is fine, that's fine. But duck hunting is my main thing. Ducks, ducks are what make me tick. I mean, I'm telling you. And to see all these ducks here on all these uh, flooded fields is just amazing. But you can tell where I'm at here. Deep in the uh, pasture woods, and there's a bunch of that stuff growing. Holy smokes. Literally everywhere. So you know what that means. This is going to be dove heaven, like I said. That's one of the reasons why it's probably dove heaven as well. Ooh, there's some starlings. I'm going to put down the camera. Oh, 
That's a starling. He's dead. There's one. Oh, missed him. I got one down. Ha <laughs> ha! They all got a little pool here where they bathe and drink. I had to be careful because there was a lot of other birds, but there was a few starlings in there. Got one of them bad boys. Woo! Well, we're on the board. Look at that. There's a dove. This is where they were bathing in and getting their drink. There he is. Look at that right there. Like I said, look at that. The grub worm is still in his mouth. Check that out. How cool is that? Caught red-handed. Again, guys, if you are enjoying the solo hunt, look at that. I called it. I said that they're going to be in the field eating grub worms. Right there, we got our proof in the pudding. Smash that thumbs up button for you, boy. Let's get this video up over a thousand likes. Heck, let's make it two thousand likes. Well, been walking around here quite a bit. Haven't had the camera on. I'll tell you what, these starlings are scarce. This definitely was a challenge, let me tell you what. And I'm glad we came out though. Uh, seeing these ducks just did it for me. Holy smokes. But I'm going to keep walking this back pasture area a little bit more. Um, give it a little bit of time here because it might be feeding time here real soon. It's, uh, what time is it? What time we got? It's almost four, so they should be feeding and getting hungry any minute. Oh, well, this is the drinking hole where I shot the one at, and here he is. Man, that's, I mean, that's unlike Bobby to only, only shoot one, but I'll tell you what, these conditions, when you're not at a dairy farm where there's a concentration of them, I, I, I say these things are everywhere, but they're more abundant, like out in the muddy field right now, than they are here. Now, I don't know, if I stuck around a little bit, I might be able to wait till they come back to roost, which they probably roost up in these trees, you know. But, I think we're going to go ahead and turn this into a good old starling catch, clean, and cook. You guys have requested it for so long. Guess it's time to do it since we only have one. See, this was my original idea. Um, I knew that these bunkers had to have feed in them. And as you can see, they certainly do. And as you can see there, there is starling poop right there. But the starlings are just not concentrated on the old bunker here. I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. Like I said, they're out in the fields finding grub worms, like we've seen with little Larry here. We caught him red-handed with that bug in his mouth. But hopefully we'll be able to come back here soon and hunt over this long, long feeder here. I mean, look how long it is. It's huge. Starling's gotta love that. I just mouth called these key, these geese over here. Look at this. They came right to me. That was awesome. They couldn't see me because I'm in between these hay bales. Literally, they were headed east. I don't know, probably eighth of a mile from me, and I pulled them over here. That was that was pretty cool. Now we're gonna go home and cook up this guy right here. Ugh. The last time I did a catch clean cook was on crow, and it was not very tasty. I don't know. I probably didn't cook it very well, but I have to say. I'm just hoping the starling's a little bit better. Fred, here. Look, look, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Ooh. Say, ooh. He says, ooh, that tastes good. If you were here on the last pigeon hunt, I saved, uh, what is it, 12 or 15 pigeons. I have froze, just like this, whole, not cleaned. I have them froze in the freezer so we can train Fred with them bad boys. What are you doing, sis? Did you put makeup on? You put lipstick on? Well, that sure is pretty. You you oh, is it raining? Okay. All right, I got the wife on the camera. Thank you, babe, for filming. What we're gonna do is clean this bad boy up. And how I do it, I've never actually cleaned starlings before, but any other bird that I've cleaned, they're all the same. Let's uh, rip them up top there, pull the feathers back. Look at that, just tiny. That's where I got them, right there. Got a BB right to the breast. Shout out to Jordan though for the fresh knife. Woo. Now, since uh, YouTube is obviously gonna demonetize this video because I'm cleaning a bird on it, you guys got to 
pick up you a duck shirt or a hat, you know, I'll link it all down in the description. But I'm just gonna fillet these little bad boys right off of here. I mean, it's hard. They are extremely small. Just gotta, gotta take your time with them and whittle them right off the rib cage there. There it is. Check out that. Tiny. Absolutely. Look at, look at the size of it compared. Tiny. Itty bitty. I wish I would have got more than one, but for the first taste test, it'll work just fine. Now, all right, we're inside here. Check it out. I've let the breast sit in a little bit of water. And what I'm going to do here, I got to say, I'm still in Flair's recipe right from his videos. But big shout out to my boy Flair, not only for giving the good recommendation for Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce, because I tried it on some wings the other night, and whoa, it's good. But big shout out to Flair for hitting 1 million subscribers. Insane. But what we're going to do first, going to pour us a little bit of Frank's on our breasts. We don't need much. Flop them around in there just a little bit. Once they're covered, like so. They're so small, man. Got me a, a Ziploc with some flour in it. Straight flour, nothing else. I'm going to throw them bad boys in there. Give it a good old shaking. Again, I can't take uh, full credit for this recipe. This is Flair Daddy's old uh, old recipe here. Well, we got them coated here. Check it out. Our oil is finally hot. I have a feeling these bad boys are going to be good. Honey, you going to eat one? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You got to. Okay, you, all, you guys got to drop comment. You guys got to get down in the comment section down there. You got to tell Beth. You got to say, Beth, you got to eat one. Put the pressure on her. Not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> got a small cam up in here? Yeah, they actually smell pretty darn good. Turn these bad boys. Ooh, look at the golden brown action going on here. They look like gizzards or something. I bet they're going to taste mm -hmm. quite close to gizzards. You're going to eat one? Well, they're golden brown here. Check them out. There they are. About the smallest breast I've ever cooked. Alright, here she is. You're brave. How is it? <laughs> it's, uh... She pretty much nailed it on the head. She was like, I bet it's going to be like a gizzard. And it's pretty close. It isn't chewy like a gizzard, though. It tastes a lot like a, a gizzard. But it's actually not bad. Like, definitely way better than the crow I cooked. Really? Honestly, way better than the crow. Babe? I can't do it. Why? It's not bad. I'm it's not that just, small. I'm that not tiny. Just, just thinking that, about that, it. That, that piece is cooked way better than the other one. Look at all the yummy red hot and flour on it. Come on. It's nothing worse than chicken. Come on. Probably not gonna. Come on. <laughs> Pigeon is way better. Dove is way better. Teal is way better. Um, crow and starling, I think they're a lot alike. Because like I said, they eat a lot of the same stuff. Like worms and grub worms and dead carcasses and cow feed. All that stuff. Holy smokes! This is literally what it's been doing for the last two weeks is this right here. It's crazy. We're in so many flood warnings, it's insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry I gotta talk so loud, but this is beautiful. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a little different. We shook it up a little bit. I really enjoyed getting out solo again. I haven't been able to do that for since pro season actually. So if you guys want to see more solo starling hunts, drop a comment down below and let me know. And if you guys have any, any video suggestions at all, any of them, drop them down below in the comment section because I'm always looking for new awesome ideas for videos and I want to know what y'all want to see. But like I said, check out the DucksWaterfowl.com website. I will link it down below. All the Ducks merch will be there. Whenever you guys pick up something, it goes directly to helping me bring y'all more videos. But subscribe if you haven't. We'll see y'all in the next one. <laughs>